<laughs> okay, this thing is like a go-kart. I... All right, so today we are taking a drive in a 2023 JCW Countryman. Let's hop outside and take a look at the vehicle. So this is the Mini Cooper John Cooper Works Countryman. That's the small, well, I guess in their lineup, it's the largest SUV option that they have. Four-door Countryman. As far as Mini Cooper goes, this is the biggest Mini Cooper that you're gonna be able to find. And JCW is the top of the line performance option. So out of the four-cylinder, two-liter engine, we're getting 302 horsepower. You know, it's a JCW when you have all of the red trim in the bumper, the red mirror caps, the red roof, red brakes at the front now bmw does own mini and this is chassis wise apparently the same chassis that bmw uses on the x1 just with a different shell put on top nice exhaust system aggressive diffuser i love how they put the flag inside the taillights let's take a look now it is a manual trunk with the gas shocks not a full power trunk decent amount of cargo space back here a little bit of extra storage there as well let's put the plate on there let's see back seats now this car was recently traded in so it's still a little bit dirty needs to be cleaned up but yeah i mean that's all the space that you really need inside looks like there's two usb c ports back there for charging at the front this is a pretty cool interior. The door panel is like half Alcantara here. We have the chrome door handle. It's like a half circle. The window surrounds. This one looks Harman Kardon sound system on the inside. Got the John Cooper Works badge. We've got the M pedals. But these sports seats, these are pretty cool. <laughs> Mini yours. How cool is that? That's pretty cool. All right, let's hop in. I think by far the coolest thing about this car is how you start the car down here this is your engine start stop on a toggle switch how cool is that a few other things that are on the toggle switch fasten seatbelt okay okay really want you to fasten your seatbelt right away a couple other things down here is the automatic engine on off button the parking sensor so when you click that you'll get the sensors around the vehicle trash control and then sport mode so i guess we're green mid and sport so they don't even call it like eco and comfort they call it mid and green just no eco mode you just have green mode it's cool is the head-up display i'm not sure if we caught that let's shut the car off when you turn the car off the head-up display it goes down how cool is that when you start the car back up head-up display is gonna go up how cool is that now the gauge cluster is nice and small, exactly what you expect for a mini infotainment screen. Nice, small, simple. There is ambient lighting above, which is pretty cool. If you go to adjust your steering wheel up and down, the gauge cluster moves with it. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. We do have paddle shifters for the automatic transmission, cruise control, as well as infotainment on the right. Now this gear shifter is carried over exactly from BMW on their previous generation X1s. They had the exact same handle. We're going to go down, release that electronic parking brake, and let's go for a test drive. Alright, we're going to try it out in the mid mode first, then we'll, we'll play around with some other settings. This car is, I think, pretty much fully jammed out. we got automatic climate control, we've got heated seats. Do we have a heated steering wheel on this thing? If there is a heating steering wheel, I don't know where the button is for it. Oh man, this thing sounds aggressive even in mid mode. I was pretty easy on there, not really accelerating hard, but yeah, I mean, decent amount of power. I like how the, the nav, you know, it's very small area, but you can still have a little bit of nav there. Looks like this is a touch screen as well. Small buttons to enter everything in, but uh, yeah, it is touch screen. Now, we do have the short keys down here, like an iDrive controller, like BMW. So let's click map. We have the map. I don't want it to be split screen. Can I turn that off? Yeah, let's turn off split screen. There we go. So a decent size map in there. I mean, it's got navigation. I mean, you don't need this huge curved display screen like all these other newer cars are coming with. 
quick menu into all of your safety decisions. So front collision warning, pedestrian warning, lane departure warning, and you can configure them. So that's pretty cool. Have them on or off. Media, don't have anything. We're gonna leave that off. Communication, this looks very similar to BMW, just in a different uh, design. You can definitely see where BMW is taking over there. Yeah, is there no... We got some dead buttons over here beside the automatic light, just blanks. I cannot seem to find a heated steering wheel button. So I don't even think this car has the heated steering wheel, which is pretty strange to not find on any new cars nowadays. I like how the gauge cluster is white on this side, orange and red over here. I think it's representing the RPMs. Let's the floor it. Yep, that's definitely representing the RPM, so that's kind of cool. Head of display is pretty good. It It's still kind of low, like head of display in other cars projects onto the windshield, but since this is projecting onto that glass piece, the head of display is probably four inches lower than other cars head of display where it's actually showing on the windshield. Right now the head of display is showing like just into the dashboard. Still pretty cool, 54 kilometers an hour. This gauge cluster is cool. Let's go down into green mode. You can tell the engine got a little bit quieter there. Minimalism? Am I pronouncing that correctly? Oh, we're coasting now. So when you go into green mode, it activates the coasting. So RPMs drop down to one. We're basically in neutral and the car is just coasting along. Seems like a pretty fun car to drive. Like if you need a small premium SUV, this definitely gives the X1 a run for its money. I mean, it's it's so unique, like the little toggles for everything. I guess I'm just so used to BMWs, but this is fun. This is a fun car. All right, let's go up into Sport. Oh, the exhaust, <laughs> a little racetrack. The exhaust is toned up. RPMs are up there. That sounds good. All right, we're gonna do a little bit of driving. We'll get to the highway so we can experience some actual acceleration, some highway driving. I like to take the first little bit of the drive just to play around with the features. Looks like we got cruise control here and I believe, yeah, it, it monitors that car in front of you. So let's set the cruise control. We're at 50, cruise control set at 50. We're at a pretty far trailing distance. I'm gonna set it to 60. So I have had the cruise control set of 60, but we're staying around 55. This car is about to move out in front of us. It's braking, senses the car is not there anymore and is accelerating away. Now we have, we have cars stopped up there. Is it gonna sense it? It's sensing it, but it's bringing us to a harsh, it brought us to a harsh braking. I could, I could feel the braking right before I kicked in. I mean, that, that radar sensor is only gonna be so long. It's not meant to bridge that gap. So it seemed like it would have sense it, it would have slammed on the brakes, but if you want to not have the vehicle slam on the brakes for you, best off to control that. Turn it back up to 60 now. It's gonna monitor this car in front of us. And yeah, you can tone the lanes down. Oh, I messed up the cruise control there. I would put it on limit. I don't want limit. I want cruise control. Okay, we're at 60. Now this button decreases and increases the distance. So you see that car came in front of us and it started braking. Or we can do one and it'll, it'll creep up closer, but I, I like four, I don't like to be close to cars. So it's set 60, but we're just following that car, which is doing 46. That's all we're doing. We're almost at the highway. 4,800 kilometers exactly on this unit the sun shades here so we have more toggle controls up here so talking controls for your lights it feels like you're in a race car it feels like you're in a mini race car and the cool thing is is if it's a jc dub or not the jc dub just does like the brakes the engine but like this is the standard cockpit this is what you're going to get no matter what mini cooper you have maybe the steering wheel changes but all these toggles are going to stay the same sun shades are opening the sunroof so it's a manual sunroof or manual sun shade and then you do electronic for opening the actual sunroof. Looks like there's one at the back as well, manual, two sunroofs basically with a rear sunshade. All right, let's put the transmission into sport mode too. Oh, big engine change with that downshift. 
let's let the minivan gap us so we can get a good feel for the acceleration in this thing all oh, the traffic doesn't look like it's flowing the best but yeah let's a uh, little, little gap go here all right let's test out the acceleration full pedal oh that's fun and the brakes ah oh, very firm Looks like I was just about to hit ABS there, so brakes aren't super good, but I mean, for the weight and size and the power of this vehicle, I think the brakes are gonna get done. And of course, we have some stop and go traffic. I guess that's just even more reason to use the cruise control. Although, look at that, we're under 30 kilometers. Oh no, there we go. Cruise control is active now. So we're set to 60. Let's set this bad boy up to 100. It's gonna monitor that car. This is the trailing distance, but say like, we don't want anybody to sneak in, right? So let's shorten the trailing distance. Let's get up in there. Let's not let anybody into the lane. We're braking, we're braking, are we braking? Car's braking, car is braking by itself. Car just did all that by itself. I was resting on the brake pedal, but did all that by itself. Ah, I love stop and go cruise control. What else we got here? Not really much else to play around with. Infotainment down here, transmission controller, looks like there's a USB port, We've got two cup holders here, pretty spacious dashboard, seems to be like kind of high and then just go straight, straight down. Alright, I'm gonna increase the trailing distance. I don't mind if I let a few people in, but I, I just, how aggressive that braking was last time, I, I didn't like that. All right, should free up here, and we should be able to get a little bit more driving in. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Break myself. Yo, this truck is almost hitting me, bro. You need to chill out, man. That truck came in fast. I was worried there. I wonder why it's so stopped up. Looks like people trying to go north are having a rough time. All right, let's let this car go ahead a bit. All right, let's do a pull. Oh, that shift was engaging. All the way to 6,000 RPM. What a fun little rocket of a tiny SUV. Man, I feel like no matter what time you come across in Toronto, there's always stop and go traffic. This is brutal. This is where you definitely want a car and you definitely want to have that cruise control because this is just brutal. I wanted to do some driving and you can't even do some driving. All right, let's explore any other features that we have here. We have a BC button on the end of the turn signal stick. What does that do? Ah, it just changes the information right there. Doesn't do that much. Automatic climate control. I like how they're dials here. You can just turn them real easy. Automatic AC, max defrost. Man, it sounds so good. It sounds really good. If the memory save one through eight, or one through six, so like BMW, they only come to six. What does Mini do? System settings, vehicle settings, okay, driver profiles, technology in action. It's pretty similar to BMW, sport displays. Oh, engine. Yeah, that's cool. That Tesla, 
That Tesla is rude. What is he doing? You're not supposed to do that. Sport vehicle and surroundings. Yeah, that's cool. Minimalism, engine running. Let's go green. Minimalism. Charging battery. Engine running. We're braking, charging battery. Yeah, I mean, bro, wait, wait, look, look at this. When you go into sport mode, it shows a little go kart. It, it's a, literally a go kart besides sport mode. How cool is that? Black trim in the interior is a lot of black. It'd be cool if they mixed that up with something else. Maybe even red would have been cool. I drive control. They have the electronic parking brake, but there's no auto hold brake feature. I wonder why having an electronic parking brake, but no auto hold. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, other than that, there's not too much else to say. The Alcantara is nice on the door panel, comes all the way around for the window controls and the mirrors. look around the cabin yeah i don't know what more we'll see if we can get a little bit more driving in i know we'll get a little bit more xing off the highway get a little bit of the corners If I put it into drive, we go into green mode. How quiet is it? That's decently quiet. I would turn on the radio, but I don't want any music in here. Our exit is coming up. We're going back into go-kart mode. Transmission and sport. Let's cancel the cruise control. Well, let's go. Wow, I got some corners. <laughs> okay. This thing is like a go-kart. I can see why they put the go-kart there. Wherever the engineers were that put the go-kart there, well done, sir. What a little go-kart, a little ripper. All right, the rest is just driving back, so I'm gonna end the video here, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. All right, full excel from a stop. There is like a delay there between when I put the pedal all the way down when it actually accelerated because it didn't want to lose traction. I had full traction control off, so it's, it's accelerating without allowing a wheel slip. That's pretty interesting. All right, I'm going to end the video here, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. Hope you guys appreciate this content. Let me know in the comments what I could do better, what you guys would enjoy more. Peace out. One thing I just noticed is that this car has a little bit of ambient lighting just down here in the door panel. Can't seem to see it anywhere else.